Aquarius, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for July 1st all the way to July 7th, so welcome, Aquarius. Hope everyone is doing well. It is July. Can, we, can you believe it? Summer is here. Summer is here. Thank God. I just wished it lasted all, all year. That rhymed, and I didn't even mean it to. So let's talk about some things that are going on astrologically. July 2nd, Neptune is going retrograde. The planet of inspiration, spirituality, dreams, all of that is going retrograde. And when Neptune goes retrograde, it makes us reassess. Retrograde is always reassessing, you know, slowing down, looking at things from a perspective, going back to the drawing board. And it's, are we aligning ourselves with our dream? And how do we make that happen? going back to the drawing board to build those steps up to that ultimate dream that you have. So that's very important for you at this time. So, you, you know, the underlying theme for the summer is, am I aligning to my dream and what can I do to align to that? Now then we have July 4th, Independence Day. So happy 4th of July. And then the next day is a new moon on the 5th. And that's happening in the sign of cancer. So it's a very emotional time for us. And it's going to be happening in your eighth house of healing, sexuality, spirituality, heavy emphasis on spirituality and reassessing all of that and uh, dialing down debt, becoming debt free, working on debt um, and a lot of healing, a lot of healing. So let's begin. Just so you know, personal readings are available for July, August and September. So check that out if you'd like one. Let's do this. And uh, Freaking Weekend is going to be out on Wednesdays. I feel like there's something else for you, Aquarius. Yep, right there. Boom. Boom. Chicka boom. Boom. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Here. Wow, look at all that. It's going to be worked on. Look at all that. Holy mo. Wow, this tells a story. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, I hope it all fits in the camera. Wow, Aquarius. Boom. We got some stuff to work on, though. Definitely this new moon is giving you an opportunity to go ahead and do some healing. We've got the five of swords here. We're worried. We got some worry. There's some mental conflict going on. You almost feel like you're being robbed of something. Time, money, whatever. You know, or it's time to be strategic, really, what it comes down to. But that's got you shook. You're, you're trying to get perspective on things. Actually, you need to get perspective on this. You need to get out of this mentality and set yourself free. The judgment card is setting yourself free. This is setting yourself free from a past incident. And the hermit card is what we need to embrace right here. So it's six of cups is memories, you know, reminiscing, being, you know, alone to work on this, getting that perspective it could also mean a love coming back into your life. But the, the hermit here is finding the answers within, going within, releasing this, getting that perspective and getting rid of that and actually being more strategic towards things. Now, in the outcome, we have the Ten of Swords. You're actually going to accomplish this. You're going to set yourself free from this, especially from the past. And, and then boom, <laughs> the Ace of Cups, the Sun, and the Ten of Cups. I mean, that is beautiful energy for this week. But you've got a lot of processing to do, you know, and you'll do it. I mean, two tens, you'll be successful at it. New beginning in love that really, you're shining bright right now. That's all you really need to do is shine as brightly as possible. And don't let anything get you down or get in your way, especially your own thoughts. Because Aquarius, let's face it, you can start that hamster wheel going and it doesn't stop. 
But it's time to be strategic in all that you do. All right, let's just see. It looks like the uh, camera's glitching out a little bit, maybe. I heard the fan kick on for the... Okay, there we go. We're back to normal. All right, let's get some oracles and see what else they add, got to add to this for you. This is my last reading for the morning. I mean, come on. All right, let's get some oracles. What do we got for Aquarius? I was going to put them back, and they said, don't you dare. So, okay. All right, emotional loss. It's time to work on that. It's time to rid ourselves of that. It is time to rest and rejuvenate. Again, this is about healing, going within. You've got some movements, choices, and decisions to make, and it's going to accelerate. Everything's going to start to accelerate. So this is the week to get it done. And look at that. Material harvest, recognition and reward, and rejoice in celebration. Again, celebration. This is incredible energy. Incredible energy here. 369, you're manifesting a new relationship. I wouldn't doubt it at all. All right, let's get more oracles. This is going to start to... This is going to show us uh, more situations with love. It segues into the love portion, but there is something cooking here. And, I, and the Ace of Cups is just not a, a new beginning in a relationship. It's a new beginning in, in a relationship with yourself. Let's not forget that, you know. All right, what do we got here? What else do we have for Aquarius? Seek the truth this week. Yeah, going within. Seeking the truth. And not believing what's going on in your mind here. It's time to change your focus. Get some perspective. What's going on here? Instead of looking at the past, we're looking towards the future. Because the future looks brighter than it does in the past here. There's no doubt about that. Empress energy. It's time to nurture yourself. It's time. See how she's reaching for that sun? That sun energy. And you achieve it. And you've got to work on your heart chakra. Pay attention to 444. Heart chakra. Releasing this and opening up. Working on your heart chakra this week and opening up to a relationship. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. But you're trying to be strategic. You're trying to, you know, you need a new perspective on it. I think you're a little too worried. You know, you need to change your focus. And make a decision because things are going to accelerate fast, whether you really want them to or not. So your thoughts got to get in line with this energy or you're going to miss it. All right. What do we have for love for Aquarius? Mm. Mm, yeah. Oh, Aquarius. Got to make some decisions. Got to make some decisions. See, it's changing your focus because it's all stuck energy. I don't know what to do. I'm at a stalemate. No, trust your intuition. You, you know exactly what you need to do. Again, the five of swords, it's got you worried. You know, walk away from something that, that you know, it's got you shook because this is too beautiful. That's too beautiful. The moon, you may, you're, I think it's self-deception. I don't think there's anything cooking. I think it's you cooking schemes and shit. King of Swords is your energy. Cut all cords to that. Cut all cords to this indecision and open your heart. Nurture yourself to, to, to receive this relationship. And here it is. Ace of Pentacles, the offer comes in as soon as you open your heart. Something's at work here. Well, let's get some messages of love and see what they got to say. But there's, you know, there's a lot of indecision going on here. A lot of, and, and it's and it's going within. There's some emotional upset. So, I don't know. I, I think it's you worried about, I don't know what to do. Does this person feel the same way I do? I mean, all these cards are face down, but this one wanted to show itself. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. Maybe that's what's got you shook, is that you just don't know what the other person thinks, and it's not your job. Vibes don't lie, you know? 
Past life love, six of cups was right there in the middle. Your soul remembers this intense connection. See, don't, <laughs> I see what's going on here. <laughs> don't worry about it. Support, lean on your inner circle during this time. The three of cups, definitely. Could be someone in your inner circle. Patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. And oh shit, man, it is. I mean, you just have to work on this. The self-doubt, the self-deception, keeping you from not speaking your truth and opening your heart to whatever this is because it's beautiful energy. It's beautiful energy, but you've got yourself stuck in a, a mental belief system that just isn't working for you. So make the decision, change your focus, and accelerate your plans. And feel good about it. All right. Closing messages. Grounding. Absolutely. You're being asked to ground yourself, Aquarius. You've been spending too much time in your head. Uh -huh. And it's time to pay attention to your body and to the earth. Go outside and plant your feet on the ground and enjoy the centering feeling this brings. That is so true. Get outside and release this so you can open your heart to this beautiful whatever it is and receive. You're being asked to open to receiving universal gifts. This could become in the form of love, money, compliments, healing energy, and universal wisdom. Know that you're worthy of these gifts and open up to them. Damn. Boom. There it is, Aquarius. Another fucking great reading. But you're too much in your head. Go outside and ground and release it. Open your heart. This is beautiful. I'll see you next week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I claim it in the comments. Don't forget about personal readings in the description. Freaking weekend for July 4th is going to be up on Wednesday. And I will see you next week.